Android fellow so first of all you need to be right inside the Adobe Premiere Pro 2023 and once you're right inside first of all you need to find this resolution portion and uh, you need to click on 1 by 4 what it will do it will try to reduce your resolution of the previews and as a result it will increase your preview speed in the Premiere Pro once you are done with this you need to go to the file in the top left corner of the Premiere Pro and you need to click on project settings and uh, once you hover over the project settings you will further find three options first of all we need to go right inside the general all right fellas so once you are right inside the generals you need to find this render and you need to make sure you select the mercury playback gpu acceleration cuda because it will enable the gpu acceleration for your videos and it will improve your preview speed in the premiere pro the very important setting is the display format you need to make sure it is time code and for the display format in the audio case you need to select audio samples and this is the very important settings the capture the capture format should be dv not hdv it will slow down your preview in the premiere pro so that's why i recommend to go with dv and another thing to note is hdr graphics white nets if you are facing too much a lag or shuttering in your premiere pro i recommend to go with 163 percent hlg 51 percent PQ. so that is the setting that you need to apply and if you have a very high-end PC you can go with 75% or 81% if you have a low-end PC you can go with 63% and for the 3d LUT interpolation you can go with trilinear and if you go with the tetrahedral it requires the GPU acceleration it is uh, it can be enabled once you have very high-end PC so for now tri uh, trilinear is best option so once you are done by applying all these settings you need to click on ok all right so once you're done with these settings you need to go to the edit and now you need to go to the preferences and uh, navigate to general once you're right inside make sure uh, the display color management requires a gpu acceleration is enabled if you have enabled the gpu acceleration cuda that is the very important settings you need to make sure it is checked once you're done you need to go to the audio hardware now in this case if you have a shuttering or the lagging issues in the premiere pro and if you cannot hear your audio in the premiere pro very clear you can simply select the default input as no input and make sure you select yes in this case and now your input lag would be working perfectly fine and for the latency you can go with 200 and a sample rate should be 48,000 Hertz and if you go to the settings it will show you the previews of the speakers that it is using currently to output from your speakers you don't need to mess with these settings you can just click on cancel and you need to first of all make sure default input is the no input input that is very important and also make sure device class is MME and for the map output for it should be Adobe desktop audio so once you apply these settings you will hear the very smooth noise without shuttering and lagging so once you're done you need to go to the media and here you need to select both of these options h264 hevc hardware acceleration decoding it requires uh, to restart your premiere pro and the accelerated encoding both these options are enabled and make sure your nvidia gpu is selected in this case that is disabled and it is uh, enabled by default that is very important setting and once you go to the media cache you need to remove all the cache from the premiere pro so that you can boost the premiere pro in this case i can see remove media cache files i will click on delete and it will delete all the use media cache files as a result i will see the significant increase in the previous speed of the premiere pro so you need to click on ok and it will clean media cache database from your premiere pro and you will see the increase in the previous speed of the premiere pro so once you're done you need to go to the memory you need to make sure you reserve the maximum ram for the premiere pro you need to drag it to the left so that you can reserve the ram for other applications that is 3 gb and 16 gb is my install ram and you can allocate 13 gb to the premiere pro that is very important and optimize rendering for you need to make sure you select the performance and once you're done here you simply need to click on ok and once you're ready to export the video from the premiere pro you can go to the file and you can go to the export and click on media and once you're right inside you need to make sure you select the encoding settings performance as hardware encoding but in any case if your hardware encoding is not supported you can also go with the software encoding you can decide in which both of these codings your premiere pro is performing best and these are the all settings that you can consider to increase your preview speed in the premiere pro and reduce the lag and the shuttering in the premiere pro if you further want to increase the rendering speed and the preview speed in the premiere pro you can watch my other videos where i have explained everything very clearly 
clearly that you need to apply the nvidia control panel settings to increase the rendering speed and also enable the nvidia studio driver to further optimize the premiere pro these tools and techniques are very important to increase everything in the premiere pro and to boost up your premiere pro so that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day